what? We don't even have a fireplace, but I do have the perfect place to hang these super cute, quick and easy Christmas stockings. Hello everyone, and welcome to Cricket Team with Delonda. It's me again, Delonda. And thank you so much for joining me today. You heard me right. In today's tutorial, we are making Christmas stockings. This is not sublimation. So you will not need to have a sublimation printer in order to come up with this awesome goodness. You know I'm going to show you everything you need and I am going to take you through this tutorial step by step as I always do. At the end of this tutorial, if you find this information helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The materials I'm going to use for this project include these stockings that I purchased from Amazon. They're actually quite big. Um, this is what mine looks like unfinished. I just started on it, but I'm going to finish it in this tutorial. I'm using green, red, and white heat transfer vinyl. Caesar Easy Color DTV. I'm also using the TTD mask. I'm going to use a Teflon sheet. I'm going to use my purple strong grip mat, a burnishing tool, and I am going to use my StarCraft 15 by 15 clamshell heat press. I'm also going to press this burlap with my Cricut 9x9 Easy Press, and I will probably press one of these uh, stockings with the HTV Raunt Auto Press just to give you an idea of how each one of these heat presses will work on these stockings. Now, I will not do that every time, but I do think it's important to do it right now at this time just so you can make a, an informed decision about your heat press. The printer that I'm using is a Canon MX470 um, inkjet printer. This is not sublimation. I have regular ink, not sublimation ink, and I will be connected to my Cricut Maker. Now, without further ado, let me show you the designs that I'm using for this project and where I got them from, and then we will head over to Cricut Design Space. The first file that I'm going to use or the file that I'm going to use on my stocking is one that says just a girl who loves Christmas. This SVG right here is being downloaded from Creative Fabrica. They are having a fantastic sale on their membership for one year. I believe it was $59. So it's right at $5 per month. And then they also have an additional year for $3.99 per month. And they just, you bill it one time at $47. I really think it's a good deal. I did upgrade mine for one year. Let's go over to design bundles so that I can show you the files that I'm going to use from there. So the file that I'm using from design bundles, I do have a plus membership. And with this file that I'm using, I'm actually using two files from here. I'm using one that says, Dear Santa, it was my brother. And another file that says, Dear Santa, it was my sister. And this bundle is actually a part of their free collection. So I'm going to download this bundle. And then the other, another file that I'm using uh, from Design Bundles is one of their Plus products. And I'm going to do a search for Peace, Love, Christmas. And I am going to download this file right here. It is a part of the plus membership deals. And then for Peter stocking, I'm going to get my files from Cricut Design Space as well as uh, the file that I'm using uh, for Milo. I'm going to get those from Cricut Design Space and I'll show you those once we get over there. Okay, so let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space and I'm connected to the Cricut Maker. The first thing I'm going to do is grab a shape. I'm going to grab a square and I will resize the width and the height of the square. I am going to unlock it and change the width to 6.0 
and I'm going to change the height to 10.0. The reason why I'm doing this is because this matches the workspace that I plan to use on the stockings that I have. Now the view on my screen right now is at 25%. I'm going to bring it up to right at 75% and I'll adjust it as I need to. Now the color of the stockings that I'm using is of course not this color it's like a light tan so what i'm going to do is click on this uh, box that is brown and then i'm going to click on the advanced option and i'm just going to move this dot over to change this color to one that is more of a match to the stockings that i'm using now this is not an exact match but it's it's pretty close the next thing i'm going to do is i am going to duplicate this five more times and the reason that I'm doing that is because I want to just make sure it, this looks nice on all of the stockings now I really technically do not have to do this I can use do the project from one um, template but just to give you an idea of what this will look like and I'll use them if I want to and I, if I don't want to I won't so I'll just select over these let me move one out and select over these for now and just move them down here. Now I'll move this one over. And now I need to create a template that matches the top of the stocking. Now I know you're wondering, could not just grab a stocking template from the templates? Yes, I could, but I did not like um, the stocking template that they had because it didn't match. It wasn't an accurate match to the stockings that I'm using, okay? So I'm gonna grab a shape again. I'm going to grab a, re going to grab a rectangle and the size of the top of the stockings, the width is right at 7.0 and the height is right at 5.0, okay? And the color, of course, I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm just gonna duplicate this um, two more times, just for now. All right, the top of one of them is green, the top of another is red, and the top of the third one is more of a it's like an off-white kind of not that dark kind of like that more like a canvas color let me see if i can find something that's a little bit closer okay that'll have to do all right so what i'm going to do is actually decorate the first stocking i'm going to bring my view down to let's say 50 percent for now now this kind of just stick with me this will represent one stocking okay and let's do milo's stocking first now for his at the top the font that i want to use is one that is called big yummy and i'm going to click on the text box and i'm going to turn on my caps lock and i'm going to type milo and then i'm going to go up here to my font i'm going to click the drop down and now Big Yummy is a system font. That means it's not a Cricut font that I purchased it or I downloaded it um, outside of Cricut Design Space. So I'm gonna click on my system and I'm going to actually type in that name, Big Yummy. Okay. And I'm going to select it and I like that. I think it's gonna look really nice. And let me unlock this and kind of make it long. I really really like that okay and so on here let me see if I want this to be white I think I like that let me see what red will look like oh I like red okay it's gonna be red all right and so the file that I'm going to use for my low stocking is uh, in in images and it is a file that says I believe in Santa Paws so I'm going to type that in. I believe in Santa Paws. And I am going to find the one I like. And it is actually this one right here. And I'm going to add it to my canvas. Now you see my files move down and that's fine. Um, and what I'm going to do with this is change it just a little bit because I don't like it the way that it currently is. I am going to make this let me kind of bring this down and put it on top so we can get a good look at it. Okay. Okay. So I can see that this is a layered file. How do I know it's layered? Because I can look in my layers panel and see that I can separate this out. 
Now what I definitely want to do is click on the part of the file that has the Santa hat and what I'm going to do is click contour on the bottom right of my screen and I'm going to take this Santa cap off. I actually don't like this one. Okay. And I'm going to leave the rest of the file just like this. Now I, I like the way the image looks. However, let me change the color and see if I think I want it in red. I really like it in red. Okay. I'm going to change this to red and I am going to find a different I think I want this part, I believe in Santa Claus. I think I want that part to be green. Oh yeah, I like that. All right, and what I'm gonna do is go to images again, and I am going to just look for a different Santa hat. Okay, and let me find one that I like. I think I like. I think I like this one. Okay, I'm gonna add it to my canvas and I'm going to bring it down. And I can also tell that this is a layered file. Let me see what it would look like if I were to add an offset to this. I don't want it to look too thick. Um, let me go down further. 0.08 and click apply. I kind of like that. Let me see if I click apply. Oh yeah. I like that just like that. And if I flatten this separately, will I be okay? Okay, very good. Okay, I'm going to do that. I don't think if I put these two parts together, I think I'll be. Let me see. I think I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna keep that together and this will be um, Milo's stocking. I like that. I like it very much. So this top part right here, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. This will be red heat transfer vinyl and then all of this will be Caesar Easy Color DTV, which is going to be fantastic because I'm not going to have to do any weeding. I can print this and get it placed on the on the stocking. I love that. Okay, so now let's work on mine. Okay, so this is going to represent my stocking. I'm only going to design two of them here. Um, I think once I get the other images put together, I'm not sure if you want to see that part, but if I do, I will speed that part up. Okay, so for my font, I am going to use a font that is called chocolate. So I'm going to go click on the text box. I'm going to type my name. I'm going to turn the caps lock off. Okay. And the font is called chocolate. It's a system font that I downloaded from thefont.com. Okay. It's this one right here, chocolate. And I think I want mine to be white and I'm going to make it bigger. I like that. And I am definitely going to click combine and weld. Okay. On my stocking, I want it to just say just a girl who loves Christmas. This is a file that I downloaded from Design Bundles. I already have my files uploaded, so I'm going to click right here, Just a Girl Who Loves Christmas. Once again, this file came from Creative Fabrica. I am going to reduce the view on my screen. You can see that file came in really, really big. I'm going to go ahead and lock it right here, and I'm going to change the width to 5.0 just to bring it down. Okay, and I will put this right here on top. Let me bring my view back up just so you can see it better. Okay, I think that is really, really cute. Okay, so now for mine, I think I am going to have to 
change this a little bit. Now I can see that there are multiple layers, like each star is a layer, each red star, each green star, this heart, all of these pieces are layers. And what I am going to do instead of having it like this, now let me see what will happen if I were to add an offset and kind of do the same thing, like a mm, print then cut. Let me see if I would like that. I'm not, I'm not thinking that I will. But let's just see. Let me click apply. Let me change this offset to white. That actually doesn't look bad. It actually does not look bad. I think I'm going to do that. I am going to, let me just move this out for a second. I'm going to select all of this and I am going to flatten this. And I think that looks really, really cute. So the color of Peter's is going to be green and I am going to use the font, a font that's called Christmas Cards. Okay, I'm going to double click in my text box, I'm going to type his name and let me bring my view up. I'm sorry if that keeps changing because I know that can be very frustrating. I'm going to click in my text box, I'm going to click out of that uh, font called chocolate. I'm going to go to my system fonts. And remember the font that I'm using for his is called Christmas Cards. Okay. And I think that's the perfect font for him. And his is going to be white. Now for his image, I'm just going to put a letter P on his stocking, but I'm going to do a search for a buffalo plaid. And there were a lot of options that actually came up that I love. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to use a buffalo plaid letter P. And I'm going to add it to my canvas. It might come in big, it might not. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down. And I am going to put that on his stocking, just like that. And so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and flatten it. And that's, that's it for his stocking. Now I might need to change the color of his font to, let's see what red would look like. Hmm. I actually could make his buffalo plaid. What I'm going to do is just grab this Christmas tree right here. I'm gonna add it to my canvas. Let's see if I just take this part of the buffalo plaid and I put, the, put his name in red and I put it on top of the black and white buffalo plaid and see if I can slice it. And so what I should end up with is a red, black and white, there I go. And I can just flatten this. Okay, look at that. Okay, I love that. So now I'm gonna just delete this because I don't need this anymore. And so far, I'm loving this.
Shit. I was trying to get two images on one sheet at a time. Let's see. If I can attach this. Okay, I don't have an error. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, five print, then cut, and the rest of this is heat transfer vinyl. Okay, we are ready to, let me turn this off. We are ready to click make it. Now, since I'm using the Caesar Easy Color DTV, I am not going to mirror this because the way that this is cut is with the image facing up um, instead of being um, with the image facing down. So I do not need to mirror any of this as I typically would with heat transfer vinyl. So I'm not gonna mirror this first mat. I'm not going to mirror the second mat. I'm not going to mirror the third mat. I'm not going to mirror the fourth mat. I'm not going to mirror the fifth mat. Now, mats six, seven, and eight are all heat transfer vinyl. However, I'm not going to use eight mats. So I know for this mat, all of my vinyl is white. So my name and Madison's name will be in white. I am going to mirror this. Now, when I get to mat seven, Morgan's name and Milo's name will be in red. What I'm going to do is move this to my white mat, okay? And so I know that Morgan's name should be in red, so I'm just gonna move it down to the six. And let me go back to that mat with Milo's name. I'm also going to move his over to this white mat, and I know that it should be in red, okay? So I have my white, white, red, red, and then the last um, name, which is Miles' name, this mat, this image, or his name is going to be moved also to this white mat. I know his should be cut out in green, and I'm just going to rotate it just so it fits on this same mat. And I will just make sure I put a piece of green heat transfer vinyl down on the mat. Okay. So now we are ready to get all of this cut out. Well, we're gonna do the first five mats will be printed and the last mat will be a basic cut. Everything that I'll do from here will be back on the camera. With the Caesar Easy Color DTV, it's hard to tell which side is the right side. So there's one side that looks like just white and then on the other side it also looks <laughs> just white so in my printer this is an ink jet printer that i'm using that canon right there in order to print on my caesar easy color dtv i have to put my paper in with the the print part the print side facing down how do i know which side is the print side so if i just peel a little piece of it back this is actually the printed side this is going to be the backing so I am going to put this face down in my printer and I'm only going to put one sheet in at a time so let me show you that I'm going to do it slowly so you can see that come over here just put one sheet in at a time and I will get all five of my sheets printed out I'll speed this part up. I have my first image on the mat and I am I have this on the premium vinyl setting I'm going to insert it into my Cricut machine I have my regular fine point blade I'm going to load it and I'm going to click the flashing C I have it set to default pressure my 
time my Cricut machine will read it, you see the light. So it's reading these registration marks and it'll know exactly where to get this cut. I will speed this part up. I am going to get this weeded out. So with the Caesar Easy Color DTV, if you have small pieces and it looks like they are sticking to the backing or the paper, just carefully peel it apart and make sure that the pieces that are supposed to stay stuck stay down. Just kind of help it out if you have to. So I'm just gonna use my weeding tool to kind of push that back down Sometimes this is not fun to work with, but the end result is so amazing. Because these letters are individual pieces, I am going to use some of the TTD mask and place it down, I'm gonna have to cut this. And I am going to burnish, I'm gonna peel this, place it on top of these letters. And I'm going to get my burnishing tool and I'm going to transfer it. So burnish like this. Hopefully it comes up. If it doesn't, I'm gonna keep doing it until it does come up with the mask. So far, so good. That's great. Now I'm gonna transfer this to the top of that stocking. Let's go back over to the heat press. So this first stocking that I'm going to press is going to be Peter's. And what I'm gonna do is give it a pre-press. I have my heat press set to 315 degrees. And I'm just gonna do a pre-press on the front and the back because it's burlap. Let me decrease it. All right, the first image or the, yeah, the first image I'm gonna press is that letter P. And I'm not going to need the transfer mask for that because it's just one solid letter. So I have the P removed from the backing and I'm just going, let me do another press and let, let me show you what's gonna happen. And I am going to just lay it down. You'll see the Easy Color DTV will just lay down by itself. I didn't have to do anything to it. I am going to put a sheet of Teflon on top of this and I'm going to press this on 315 for 15 seconds. See, let's see. <laughs> Look at that. Look, look at how good that looks. Look at how good that looks. All right, now let me get the letters from the other sheet and I'll place his name right here at the top. Okay, we're back at the heat press. I am gonna just press this one time and I am going to place the, place his name down just like that. And I'm gonna put Teflon on top. I'm gonna press this on 315 for 15 seconds. See, let's take a look, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's see. Let me let this cool a little bit because this is a cool peel. 
but I can, and it really is a cool pill. <laughs> Literally, it's a cool pill. We're gonna let this cool down a little bit and we'll move to the next stocking. We will grab this red one, which is going to be mine. And we will get the T, the DTV over here. And I'm gonna put my image right here. And that I think this is going to look fantastic. And I am going to press this. Now, I actually don't think 15 seconds is long enough. So I probably will press this twice. So that's one press. I am going to press this one more time. Since it's burlap. I will let this cool off. I am going to press Madison's stocking from over here. So this is the design. Dear Santa, it was my brother. And this is Caesar Easy Color DTV. And I'm going to press hers with the red top I'm going to weed this first and hopefully it doesn't give me any drama hopefully it does not give me any drama so I think this setting is the perfect setting I cut this on the card stock for intricate cut setting with a purple strong grip mat and i'm pretty impressed with how this cut now that all of my vinyl has been weeded i am going to do a pre-press on both sides of the burlap i'm using firm pressure 315 degrees on both sides because that's what's recommended on the cricut website now that both sides have been pre-pressed just gonna make sure and then I will start to place the Caesar Easy Color DTV down. I am going to press this with firm pressure, 315 degrees for 30 seconds. And I'm only using this heat press just to show you multiple options in case you don't have the exact same heat press that I have. I don't want you to feel like you can't do this because you absolutely can do this. And I'll actually press the top of hers and I'll press the top of mine because I'm using white vinyl right here on mine also.
let's see what this looks like so far you guys this one is my favorite this one is my favorite so this is the Cricut brand of red HTV and this is Caesar easy color D TV and I press this surprisingly enough on 340 degrees for 40 seconds and I love it. I love the way this one came out more than the other ones. I'm very, very impressed by this. Extremely impressed. But let's head over to the HTV Ron and see how that one does. I am over here at the HTV Raunt Auto Heat Press. I have the temperature set to 330 degrees for 15 seconds. And I am going to do a pre-press just like I did with the Cricut and with the StarCraft clamshell. I'm going to do a pre-press on both sides of the burlap. And then I will start to get the vinyl and the Caesar Easy Color DTV placed on the burlap. So this is the finished product of all six stockings and I love all of them. Please leave me a comment below and let me know which one is your favorite. If you found this helpful in any way, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye.